Doubloons can be a really useful currency in Sea of Thieves, allowing you to do everything from purchase new cosmetics, boost your gold by getting gold pouches, get new voyages for different reasons, and even boosting the level of your trading companies. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to get a lot of doubloons in the quickest way possible in Sea of Thieves. Before we get into the video, make sure to join over 400 members in the Mystic Penthouse Discord server to speak with other members of this amazing community. If you'd like to join the Penthouse suite along with so many others, visit the link in the description. Thank you to LCRN for becoming the newest member of the Mystic community. If you'd also like to support the channel and myself in making more content, consider becoming a member by clicking the join button for exclusive rewards. Finally, make sure to subscribe to the channel, it's free. Turn on notifications, I would love to reach my goal of 10k subscribers so each and every one of you can help by subscribing, liking and commenting as well as sharing the channel with your friends and family. First things first, you're going to want to start hopping servers. You need to spawn at Plunder Outpost, no ifs or buts here. This is because it's one of the smallest islands in the game, especially for the dig ups in this video. This strategy has to be done with at least two other people but is done best on a galleon with three other people for maximum profit. If you already have everything there is to offer with doubloons, my advice to you would be to wait until a gold and glory weekend is hosted by Sea of Thieves, which I update you in my discord server, links in the description. And within that golden glory, wait for gold rush. Once in that one hour period of time, spend all of your doubloons apart from 1000 on the 10,000 gold pouches. During gold rush in a golden glory weekend, for every purchase of the pouch you will receive 30,000 gold. Anyway, to start, raise the Reaper's Emissary faction found on the beach of Plunder Outpost. Get everyone in your crew to purchase one key stash and one Ashen Chest Voyage from Lorena who is located at the front door of the tavern. I'm going to use a Galleon as an example here in this video, so you should now at least have four key stash voyages and four chest stash voyages. What you're going to want to do is take turns and place down your respective voyages. The first person will start by placing their chest stash voyage down. This will then generate a map which has one single dig up on the same outpost you placed it on. Get another member of your crew to go ahead and dig this chest up. Once it's been dug up, get them to pick it up out of the ground where you will find that it increases your reputation for your emissary flag. Do not yet place the chest on the boat until it is opened. After this, get the member who placed down the original chest voyage to then place down their key voyage. Get that same crew member to dig up the key who dug up the chest on the outpost and then place the key within the chest. Open up the chest and then bring it back to the boat. You're going to want to separate each crew member's collection of chests so you can keep track of how many you have done between each person. For example, my crew had one person place theirs at the front left of the ship another at the front right, another at the wheel, and the last one by the captain's quarters. You will find inside ashen journals and sometimes ritual skulls. As well as this, you will also receive doubloon and gold pouches sometimes. Make sure you take these as you cannot sell them individually. Everything else are all items which can be sold for doubloons. And with the emissary reputation from reapers, they will sell for 2.5 times more than usual. Make sure you sell the actual ashen chest too, once it is empty as this also gives out some more doubloons. You'll generally find there are around four spots the chests and keys will spawn on the island. One on the beach closest to the dock, another on the beach furthest away from the dock, another around the right side of the island and another by the tavern. Make sure that you have three people on the boat at all times if you're a galleon, two people if you're on a brig so that once the voyage has been complete the next voyage can be instantly voted on. Once the first person has done their first set, you're going to want to make them the next person to dig up on the island. This is so that they can rebuy their voyages from Lorena while actively on the outpost digging the chests and keys up. Again, make sure you keep track of how many each player has done to maximise profit for everyone. For example, if you did two more voyages than everyone else in your crew, they will benefit more from selling as you have actually given them two free other chests of loot. I should also mention you will need around a starting balance of 500 to 1000 doubloons for this method and you will make way over double that after the method. 
and you're going to want to keep on cycling through with each other in order until you are reaper level 5. From there you can decide whether to keep on going and getting more ashen loot or sail over to reaper's hideout where you will sell all of the items for an insane amount of profit on your doubloons. By now you should have a lot of doubloons in Sea of Thieves. If you like this video make sure to subscribe, leave a like, check out the other videos on my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.